Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Toxie Moxie and today we're going to look at a demo for a game which you may have seen me talk about on a previous video and that is Fields of Mystria. The demo is currently available on PC from June 5th to June 17th as part of Steam Next Fest. It's also worth noting that if you have a Steam Deck it will run on that too. Fields of Mystria will be in early access from the 5th of August so we don't have to wait too long but from what I've played so far, I am super excited for it. Fields of Mystria looks like Sailor Moon plus Stardew Valley, with its cute pixel art and vibrant colours. So let's talk about the game. What is Fields of Mystria? Fields of Mystria is a life sim game that features magic and will go through the seasons with days just like most popular farming sim games. The story is set in a beautiful village called Mystria and you've been given some free land in exchange for helping the village get back on its feet after an earthquake. You'll be aiming to improve the town rank so Mystria can be back on the map again in its full glory. The demo is just over an hour and honestly the time went really quickly because I enjoyed it so much. There are various settings at the beginning including sound, display, accessibility, language and controls. I played this with a mouse and keyboard, however there is controller support for Xbox and PlayStation controllers. As you all may know by now, I love character customization in games and looking at all the different options. And I will say, I was extremely surprised here. There are so many different options. Even with the pixel graphics, the choices are still really in depth and I was shocked at how many skin tones there were. The hairstyles are awesome too, you can change all the colour options even add super cute accessories. You can choose a name and also the pronoun selection is really broad which is awesome to see. When you start the game you have a short cutscene of siblings Adeline and Island discussing that they need help to restore the town and that they'll put up a request for someone to come and help in exchange for some free land. Who wouldn't want a free farm right? I found that the game has a nice balance of cutscenes plus guided play and mini tutorial pop-ups. This is awesome for people that might not have played a life sim before so it doesn't alienate new players too much but it can also be used as a refresher for those who are familiar. It will be interesting to know if the full game will have lots of cutscenes because I really enjoyed them and I feel like it's a fun way to get to know the characters and potential marriage candidates. This game is really aesthetically pleasing, the colours are so pretty, there's lots of pastel colours which is great for me as well, the character designs are fun and unique, I'm excited to meet all of the characters. Adeline will give you a quest to speak to all of the characters, so that's your opportunity to meet them all. The demo is only 3 in-game days long, so it's worth doing this as soon as possible and you can find everyone by opening the map identifying the grey people icons as that means it's someone you've not spoken to yet. The map was pretty easy to navigate I'd say, you can just press the arrows to see the next area, plus there are sign points around Mystria to help you if you get lost. As it is a demo, you'll want to try everything you can and try and cram everything in. The mines are unlocked so you can go in there and have a nosy. I almost got taken out in there because I was ill prepared but my soup saved me. What was interesting is that you can mine gems early, I only went from floors 1 to 5 but I was able to mine some gems. I'm not sure if this will be in early access or the full game but it will be cool to not have to go super deep in the mines just to be able to get gems. You will get some seeds to start your farm and you'll also have a spell that can be pinned that instantly grows crops which is super useful. It does have a radius but it still covers a decent area. Maybe in the full game you can upgrade it so it covers more area, that was probably something that may be a thing, hopefully. You'll wake up one morning to find Island trying to cut down a tree near your house in the middle of the morning. This will unlock Caldarus, the mythological guardian of Mystria, who informs you that magical essence is now flowing again in Mystria. By collecting this essence which can be gained from fishing, farming and mining, it looks like little purple orbs, and then speaking to Caldarus' statue, you'll be able to offer it to the shrine in exchange for skill perks. I feel like this is a fun way to exchange skill points. The areas that you can get skill perks are, are in farming, fishing, cooking, carpentry, blacksmithing, archaeology, and my favourite in these games, ranching. 
although there weren't enough days or resources for me to get animals. Fishing in Fields of Mystria was pretty straightforward and I'm hoping that it stays that way for early access and the final release because sometimes I really struggle with fishing in games, it can have some strange mechanics and crazy things going on but I really liked it, it was a breeze and it made me enjoy the fishing even more. I really love the information pop-ups when you discover something new, the UI is really clean and easy to read, everything in this game just looks so good and put together. It was also possible to change your appearance just from the menu. I added a little hair bow which was so cute, I want to get one in real life now. If this is something that will be in early access in the final game, that will be a really cool feature because it's just so much easier to just go into the menu and just change your uh, outfit and how you look whenever you want, rather than go into a wardrobe or some long convoluted way to just change your appearance. Overall, even though the demo was just over an hour long, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was so fun and I literally cannot wait for early access. Early access, as I mentioned before, will start on August 5th this year. But for now, if you like the look of the game, I highly recommend just trying out the demo. It's free, but just remember you have until June 17th to play it. Personally, I think Fields of Mystery has a lot of potential. I feel like it's going to be a fresh take for people who love Stardew Valley but want a new story, new characters, different gameplay elements. When early access starts, I will be covering the game on the channel, but let me know what you think of the look of it so far. Can it rival Stardew Valley? Have you tried out the demo? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more Fields of Mystery and just cozy games in general. Take care. Bye.